We spotted an ice cream truck in the wild and G1 immediately took after it. It's giving Terminator vibes, but for desserts. Now we've been looking for the perfect summer job for G1. And what better gig than working on an ice cream truck? As fate would have it, this one pulled up right in front of us. Time to see if G1 can scoop up a new opportunity. Hey, uh, so this here is my buddy G1. He's a humanoid robot and he's looking for work. Would you be interested? Absolutely, I could sure use the help. Boom, higher faster than I've ever been. Here's another look at G1 chasing the truck just in case if you needed that laugh once again. All right, time for customer service training. First order, G1 gets the ice cream. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, you got it. <laughs> and boom, it hits the ground. Not a great start, but attempt number two, Smooth delivery, plus high fives all around. Now we're talking. G1's getting better. One ice cream, perfect. Second ice cream, Third one, nailed it. At this rate, he's 66% employable. Since G1 can't actually climb onto the truck, I had to give him a little bit of a boost. G1, you ready? Let's go, let's go. First robot to ever be in an ice cream truck, actually, that I think of. At the moment, he doesn't have the ability to climb steps, but who knows, maybe in the future. Then he upgraded to the front seat. Shotgun, fully earned. Sounds like he's halfway to employee of the month. And just in time, we've got more customers pulling up. G1 takes his position at the window and greets new customers. No spills this time. Progress is definitely being made. And then a minor glitch. He starts wobbling like he's on a sugar rush. <laughs> a dad tries to buy some ice cream but looks quite confused. How do you pay the robot? G1 just kind of weighs him off and then Eddie goes, it's on the house. Now that's a malfunctioning robot with generosity. All right, time for the verdict. Does G1 get the job? All right, Eddie, time for the verdict. Do you think G1 can handle the job? You know what, I think he's doing great, um, handling the customers, waving to them, and um, just being there all, all in general, but you know what, he probably can't do it solo. Yeah, I don't think he can drive actually. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, sounds like G1 actually got the job, but then again, he didn't, so it's kind of up in the air, but hey, that's solid yes. And for the rest of the day, G1 enjoyed the ultimate ice cream truck experience, riding around, waving out the window like he's on a parade float, living his best popsicle powered life. G1 even helped promote the truck. Here he is showing off the flyer, then walks off like he just saved summer. The end of the day with a hug to Eddie and a wave to the camera. I'd say that's a wrap on another chaotic shift for your favorite robot employee. If you enjoyed this episode of Robot for Hire, be sure to hit that like button and drop a comment down below where you think G1 should work next. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got more jobs lined up for G1. No guarantees he'll be able to do any of them correctly. 